Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So this is a new feature I'm going to be starting doing. This is the first episode and basically it's a first, I'm going to call it first impression. So every time I get a new supply, whether it be pencils, a new set of pencils, a new set of pens, gel pens, paints, whatever it is, I'm going to show them to you and use them with you for the very first time. So um, I've got some gel pens here that I've not used before and I'm going to show you. So we'll have a look at them and then we'll use them for a little bit and I'll tell you what I think of them. So the first item that we're going to be using is these. This is the Arteza 14 count of glitter gel pens premium. $6.99 on Amazon if I remember rightly. So with these the packaging is a bit battered but they did say that in the description so that's fine I'm not worried about that. So let's have a look. The thing with gel pens is the majority of the time I just tip them into a pencil case and just use what I want. So here are all 14 colours. There's red, there's gold, there's a couple of greens, purple, there's a silver, there's actually three greens, that's good, and there's some blues, purple, a black, an orangey red. So those are the colours. So I've got a, a book here. This is the Celtic colouring book. Does it say who it's by? It's from Search Press Limited. And it's just Celtic patterns basically. So we're just going to flip through it and find a page. I don't know which one we'll do. We'll do this Christmassy one. It's got some baubles on it. And we're just going to start using the pens on. We'll use this bauble to start with. We'll just uh, log that into the, the thing. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take um, each colour and have a go at it and see what it's like. So I've got the yellowy gold first. It's not, tr well, until I see what it's like, I don't know whether it's a true gold or not. And we'll just do this bit up here. Oh, so first thing is they are very smooth. I don't know how well you can see it because my hand's in the way, but they go on very smoothly. It's not scratchy at all, although I tend to find that just glitter pens aren't that scratchy. I seem to find it's the ordinary colours that are scratchy. Now that is a beautiful yellow gold, I must admit. So these 14 were 6 99 which isn't too bad. Arteza, you can get refills as well. Well, that is a really lovely colour because I use um, I don't really use gel pens very much other than the glitter ones because I like to put lots of sparkle on I, I tend to just buy the glitter packs like the Link Shine and the reason I bought the Arteza rather than the Link Shine is that they're out of stock and they don't actually know when they're going to get them back in so but that is a very lovely yellow. How long it will last? Probably not very long. But like I said, with these, you can get refills. So yeah, the, the gold is lovely. We'll have um, the green now just on this. One of the greens, that's a nice colour. And again, there's n it go it's going on very smoothly. There's no scratchiness. It's and it's the sparkle is lovely. There's a lot of glitter on there, or it seems like there's a lot of glitter on there. Uh, a bit of red. So literally, I'm just going to colour in a little bit of each with each colour. Now my reds, I like my reds to be really red, and I sometimes find that glitter red isn't. That is nice. That is. Look at how lovely colour that is. That red. That is a lovely colour red. Again, it's going on very, very smoothly. We're just going to do a bit more. As you see, I'm very careful with my hand because I've actually started it from the wrong side. That's why you can't see it. But there we go. We'll do the bottom in a minute. Yeah, that's a lovely colour as well. Yeah, I'll leave that now. But I will finish this ball off later put that to one side because we've used that one so I'm going to use the silver now we're going to do the bottom part of the ball so silver is one of those colours it just seems to cover everything 
So let's see what this one's like. It's coming off lovely. It's, oh, it's a lovely shade. That's a really nice silver. So I won't probably use these again for a while once we've done this video. And the reason for that is I tend to try and use up all my odd bits. Yeah, that's a nice colour. A little bit blob there. But it's not so bad that it's awful. That's quite nice. Yeah, like all silvers, it does seem to cover everything you put it on. So it will cover any black. If you want to cover the black, it will cover it, which is nice. Yeah, that's lovely. That is really nice. So. I just thought this would be a nice idea so you can see what I, my first impression is as I colour with them because sometimes you get things and, and you colour with them a lot before you show them on the channel other than through a haul by which point you're used to them so I can see that this does blob a little bit this silver but that's okay it's it's really nice so yes yeah, still blobbing a bit the silver the so silver's not the best link shine silver is very good it doesn't gob anywhere so if I just I have to have a look at that afterwards but yeah it's all right it's like I said it's a bit gobby um, again we'll use a green on the line just to see it's just a different shade of green it's a lighter one I think might even be darker I'm trying not to touch what I've already done because I don't want it um, smearing if you can hear Paul in the background he's actually downstairs talking to one of his friends on zoom they do this every now and again. He gets a friend and they have a chat and a beer. There we go. That's nice. They're lovely colours, I will say that. So we'll use... This is purple. So... Oh, he's talking about me. Now this one isn't coming out, so I might have to scribble with that for a bit and try and get it going so the purple's not working at this time so we'll change it to blue Let's see how the blue goes now uh, the blue's fine oh that's a lovely blue that is a gorgeous shade of blue isn't it we'll have a look at the the purple and i'll see if i can get it going before the end of the video oh it's beautiful that is a very nice blue that's that one so so far you can see how shiny it is very 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 glittery the purple as of yet isn't working very well so that's okay we will try that one again later so I have a sip of my drink um like I said this isn't going to be a hugely long video but uh, so we do orange now that's a nice colour. That feels a bit scratchy. And again, it's... Oh, it's coming now. It, I think sometimes it might just take a little while to get it flowing on some of them. And that might be the case with the purple. But if necessary, I'll stop filming and have a go at it. That is a beautiful orange. Look at that. Yes, that one was a bit scratchy to get it going. But it is nice. That's fine. Uh, ooh, what colour should I use now? Let's try the darker blue on this section up here. Again, that's a very lovely blue. I'm very impressed with the colours on the Arteza pencil pens. The colours are very, very vibrant. They're very glittery. They are really nice they go down lovely at the moment I've only had a problem with the purple but we'll see if we can't figure that one out yeah very nice Over, overall so far very pleased with them very very pleased uh, this is sort of a purpley pink so let's see that one goes straight down 
That's great, that's going fine. There we go. Yep. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that colour. So that's that one that goes with that dark blue. It's just so I can finish it off later. Another green, and we're going to just do this one here. In fact, we'll do both of these. Oh, gosh, that's gorgeous green. That is a lovely shade. So I do tend to use a lot of glitter gel pen. I go through them like there's no tomorrow um, because I like to do entire pictures with them. And for cheap pens, these aren't the cheapest at 6 99 but there are 14, so it's not too bad. I could just sit and colour with these when my other ones run out. So what would probably happen is I'll use the others, but when I need a green and I want a light green, oh, that's gone a bit scratchy. Let's just turn that round. That's it, it's fine. Um, I'll say, oh, I know there's a light green in the Arteza list. Bung the Arteza's in the thing and we'll do it. I'm colouring one at the moment where I'm using up uh, all sorts of bits. So that one goes with, well, it doesn't really matter. Go up there. We've got four colours left. Oh, yes, four colours left. Black, another reddy orange, a lighter pink and the purple that wasn't working. So I think... I'll use this pink here. Yeah, oh, that's a nice colour. We'll just have a look at that. So it doesn't matter if they cross or get mixed up. At the moment, it's just about showing you what they look like on the page. And these are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that colour. That pink is stunning. So I know at the moment you can't really see as well as I'm, I'm going to show you in a minute. So... Oh dear, sniffly nose. I've really got a sniffly nose. So, um, we'll use this black one here now. Let's have a look at that. I don't normally use black very much. all right doesn't that and then we've got this sort of um sort of orangey burnt orangey red color which we'll use up here in the gap here this is a bit scratchy it's not coming out yet so i've got two where the, the ink's not coming out very well so i'm just going to get a piece of paper and try and get them going i'll be right back okay it's fine both colors are coming through now so there's no problems with them it's just Bit, bit impatient on my end to try and get everything done before we uh, wrap up the video. So there's that uh, nice burnt orange colour. Yeah, again, very smooth going on once you get the ink running. So don't worry if the ink doesn't come out straight away. It will eventually. Like with this one, look. This one wasn't coming out at all, but now it is. Look, no problems at all. lovely so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop filming and I'm going to go and colour this bauble in with these gel pens properly and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like okay so I haven't actually finished it but I've coloured in the most of it so just so that you can see how sparkly this is um wow so what do I think sorry I've got the tv on in the background what do I think of the Arteza Glitter gel pens, I think they're absolutely fantastic value for money at £6.99 for 14 pens. Usually I tend to buy packs of 100 for £15.99, but I don't, like I said, I don't use a lot of the other gel pens. I've got a bag full of gel pens that I've not used and I don't know if I ever will. So for me, because I particularly like the glitter pens, I will happily pay £6.99 for these. I probably wouldn't even buy the refills because when you buy the refills you get um, a load of refills of all the other pens which I'm not going to particularly use I very much doubt so Arteza 
glitter gel pens I'd say 8 out of 10, they're definitely worth buying and as for the glitter, they are so sparkly it's a, look how sparkly that is so those are the Arteza glitter gel pens I hope you've enjoyed this first impressions video um, there will be more in the series and if you do want me to keep doing them um, with all my supplies just let me know I just thought it would be something a bit, in, bit more interesting than just oh I got these pens, oh I got these pens then you never see me use them you just see me show you a picture oh this was done with gel pens but I don't tell you which ones because I've got mine all mixed up unless it's Link Shine because I tend to keep them in packs um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber and hit the notification bell uh, so that you're notified each and every time I put up a new video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!